Hey guys, so we got a square and let's make both sides of the square one plus square root of three. Then we throw congruent semicircles in every corner just like this and we slowly let them grow until they intersect just like this. If we paint these semicircles blue, what is the area of the blue region? So how are we gonna solve this? Let's find the center of each of the circles and then we're gonna name this piece right here R because that represents the radius of this circle. All the circles are congruent so they will all have the same radius. This piece right here will also be R and then we know that these two will also be R and then this last piece here we'll call x and so will this one up here. First thing we can tell immediately since it's a square is that this r plus r plus x right here is going to be the same length as 1 plus square root of 3 and then r plus r is 2r. So for this problem this is a fact so we can put a box around it. So if I connect this point to this point this goes through both of the circles. This right here is a radius and this right here is a radius and we've also formed a triangle which is a right triangle. This down here has an r and an x so the base of this triangle is r plus x and then if we call this side a this side b and this side c, we can use the Pythagorean theorem which says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But in the place of the a, I'm going to substitute an r plus x. In the place of the b, we're going to substitute an r. And in the place of the c, we're going to substitute an r plus r. And that can be simplified into 2r. And if we distribute the squared to both the 2 and the r, we get 2 squared r squared. And 2 squared is 4. And this parentheses doesn't really matter. We can just call this r squared. Now if we subtract r squared from both sides, 4 r squared minus 1 r squared is 3 r squared. And then this is going to disappear. So this side just has the r plus x squared. We can scoot this over to here and then square root both sides. When we take the square root of a square, those cancel each other out, giving us r plus x. And on this side, this root 3 r squared can be split into root 3 root r squared. Square root of r squared is r, so this is just root 3 r. If we subtract r from both sides, the left-hand side just becomes x, and the right-hand side is root 3 r minus r. And now we've solved for x in terms of r, and we can put a box around it. Now let's bring this piece down. This is literally what's written up here. But now I want to substitute in for x the root 3r minus r. So in the place of this x, I want to put root 3r minus r. And then let's swap these two terms. And then 2r minus r is going to be a single r. And we can smush this all together. On the left-hand side, both terms have an r, so we can factor out an r. r times what is root 3r? That's root 3. And then we want to add to that r times what gives us r. Well, that's 1. And then we can just bring down this right-hand side. Now this root 3 plus 1 can be swapped to say 1 plus root 3. And now 1 plus root 3 is a number. So we can divide both sides by 1 plus root 3. On the right-hand side, we're doing 1 plus root 3 divided by 1 plus root 3. That's the same thing divided by itself, which gives us 1. And on the left-hand side, these two things cancel each other out, leaving us with just an r. And now we know that the radius is equal to 1. We can clean up our original square and just plug in 1 for the radius. And then we can get rid of all this stuff. And now we're ready to solve for the blue area. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. The area of a semicircle would be half of that, pi r squared divided by 2. And then if we have four semicircles, then it's just going to be 4 pi r squared divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 can reduce into just 2. Two. The r is equal to 1, so we can plug in 1 for the r. 1 squared is still just 1, and then multiplying by 1 doesn't do anything, so we can get rid of it. So that means that the blue area is equal to 2 pi. How exciting.